in order to determine the kinetic parameter for the competitive inhibition, you need to draw a line with a Berg plot. Okay, then you can see from the plot, okay, uh, the interception at y axis, okay, and the interception at x axis, and as well as, okay, the slope of the graph. Okay, to plot the graph, what you need is a data on the um, enzyme reaction without inhibitor and a data with the enzyme reaction with inhibitor. So, enzyme here means the similar enzyme, not different. Okay. So, with addition of inhibitor and without addition of inhibitor. Then, you can compare and you can see the pattern of the graph for the competitive. There will be a crossing at the y-axis. Okay, which is here. Crossing at the y exists. Okay, so this means that there will be an unchanged on the Vmax value for the reaction with inhibitor and without inhibitor. But the Km value is increasing. Okay, so how to find the Km value? If you draw the graph, then you can find from the interception at x axis. But if you're using the Excel, then you need to use the slope. Okay. Alright. So, if Km is increased, it means that the Ki value, because we are dealing with the inhibition, so we have to uh, determine the Ki value. So, the Ki value will decrease. Okay. So, the kinetic analysis shows that Km is increased by a factor of 1 plus I over Ki. I here means the inhibitor concentration. Okay. So, this is a factor which corrects for the fraction of enzyme which is unavailable for catalysis because it has bound to the inhibitor. Okay. So, next, we're going to look on the non-competitive inhibition. So, for the non-competitive inhibition, the inhibitor, it will bind to the free enzyme. Okay, free enzyme. And it can also bind to the ES complex. Alright, and when it binds to the ES complex, usually it's not on the active side. It's, it, uh, the inhibitor will bind on the other side. That's why, that's the reason why we learn on the allosteric okay, enzyme. Okay? Because this type of enzyme, they not only have the active side, but they have the other side which can be attached by substrate or by inhibitor. Okay. Okay, so in this non-competitive inhibition, okay, the Km value will unchanged if you compare between uh, the reaction without inhibition and the reaction with the inhibition. Okay, and the Vmax is lower by a factor of 1 plus I over Ki, okay, at a higher substrate. Uh, and the concentration, okay, concentration, the inhibitor, okay, um, at the higher substrate concentration, okay, the inhibitor is still bound to the enzyme, okay. Kcat, okay, is lowered by a factor of 1 plus I over Ki, in which the Kcat value can be determined from the equation of Vm or Vmax, it's similar, Vm and Vmax, it's a similar, okay, equals to Kcat times E note. E note here means the concentration of enzyme being introduced in the reaction, okay, the amount, the concentration that we have at in the reaction. By addition of more substrate, it will not displace the inhibitor. Okay, this is the pattern of graph for non-competitive inhibition. So, as the inhibitor increased, okay, what happened is, you can see that the Vmax is lower. The value of Vmax or Vm is lower. Okay, Vmax, Vm is equivalent, okay. 
Alright, so um, the Km value is similar. Okay, this is the um, usual or common type of non-competitive inhibition. Okay, so you can find the value of Vmax and Km okay, from the graph and the, at, the, at the interception and also the slope. Okay. You can refer to the uh, how to plot the line with a book plot and how to find the value.